today, Precarious Plays, Metal Gear Rising. Alright, so when was the last time you did a thing? Like you played a thing or you watched a thing that was so close to perfect? I mean, like, like you could feel it like right up against perfect and then it just wasn't and then it was made worse by how close to good how close to great it was like, do you know do you know what i'm talking about uh yeah um something i can think of off the top of my head so this game has some critical flaws but it's just so close to really good it breaks my heart this uh, like, I put off playing it for a long time, because I played the demo and I was, I was like pretty impressed, but I wasn't sure if it would hold up over a whole game, and I'm afraid, like, it doesn't exactly. Yeah. And I'll elaborate once you, see right now you're, you're sort of like baby Raiden. Raiden doesn't have all of the powers that he gets in this game yet, because right now you're in his, his regular cyborg body. You know, his regular run-of-the-mill <laughs> jump into the air and slow time and cut people up, cyborg body. Seems normal. Yeah. Anytime the, the screen gets that blue aura around it, you can go into blade mode and it will uh, it'll slow time. And time will dilate temporarily. Um, you should try parrying someone because then you can... Oh, yeah, and then if you chop them, yeah. And then you can, you can do the cleaving. So... This game, it, it is good. It is good, but it's not like Platinum Games good. Oh yeah, I get you. It's not like Bayonetta good. They had a really strong central mechanic and they just sort of didn't focus on it enough. And I'll, I'll explain. No, I should just start explaining now because there's a lot of it. So one of the problems is that I think you can actually, you can do them right now. There are combos that you can do, and they are com like basically completely unnecessary. Not because like the game didn't need combos, yeah, but just because the way the enemies are designed, it's hard to make good use of them. And blade mode really does. Oh, you can you can cut through the the gate. Oh, oh gate. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, you can cut through the through the the fence. Sorry. So, there are combos, but they're hard to make use of. Um, and Blade Mode really was all that all that we needed to have this game be really very good. So I don't know what we're gonna do about the cutscenes. I think you know what we'll we'll try watching one. Okay. We'll try watching one because I think after that first one they wind up being pretty short. And if we have any problems with it, we'll just cut this part out. We'll cut that part out. We'll cut everything out. You know what, Bale? Stop the episode. <laughs> okay, no. Don't stop the episode. <laughs> okay, so this is a Metal Gear Ray. Are you are you familiar with the other, with like the Metal Gear? I think you said you don't, you haven't Not played. Much. Like, I haven't really gotten into them too much. Like, I played uh, Snake Eater and I played uh, Phantom Pain a little bit, but that's about it. Okay, so... That thing was a, a Metal Gear Ray, which is an anti-Metal Gear Metal Gear. Oh, okay. So it's a Metal Gear designed to beat other Metal Gears, if I remember correctly. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, I think his name is Sund Sundowner. Thanks. Um, he's a nasty man. They set him up to be the principal antagonist. Mm-hmm. But there's a there's a bit of a twist later. Um, so Metal Gear Ray, I think that they they picked that one because you know, they picked that one instead of making a new one just for this game, like just for this part of the game yeah. because it's the Metal Gear that Raiden fought against. Oh, okay. In in his game and um. Oh, so you're Jack. Sons of Liberty. Oh. What do you want with the mm. Prime Minister? I want him. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. Yeah. Goodness. So that was the first one he was on. Personal course. Yeah. So, and it, it's interesting. It's an interesting. What? 
uh, comparing that Raiden to this Raiden because it Metal Gear Ray, you spend the whole game building up to it, and Raiden eventually beats it by shooting a babillion, like, guided rockets at it. And things are about to go a little differently, as you'll see. Oh, but about the combos. Bayonetta. Let's compare it to Bayonetta for a second. I'm going to be comparing this game to, like, Bayonetta. I'm going to be comparing this game... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to be comparing this game to... Um, Probably like DMC Devil May Cry. I'm going to be yeah. comparing it to a lot of other extreme action titles. And the the problem with this game that Bayonetta didn't have, Bayonetta can interrupt and then resume her combo attacks. And if there's a way to do that in this game, I don't know what it is. But in the middle of... So one of Bayonetta's very most basic combos, I'm pretty sure it was Punch Kick Punch. Yeah. Which was, I think it was BYB. After either of the first two inputs, you could use Bayonetta's uh, backflip, like her dodge, with the trigger. And then if you press the next button in the combo, you could resume like the next animation, the next part of the combo. And it made everything really fluid and fun. And the combos, they were possible to use even if they were like seven or eight button presses long. Yeah. It made it possible to use on enemies that, like, they, they try to interrupt you, they try to break your flow. Um, oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, be careful, because any time you let off the trigger, it'll it'll cancel blade mode. Um, so... Man, that, that's new. They, they, they built that in, in in this one, is what he was saying. <laughs> because the, the original Ray, the original Ray model, uh, had a um, hydraulic... I think a hydraulic cutter is what they said. Yeah. It was a pressurized beam of water designed to cut through the hulls of other Metal Gear, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, oh, and it's also, it's interesting. Metal Gear, Metal Gear Ray is interesting in that it's amphibious, I believe because it was developed by the Navy, oh, I think was I mean, the story. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it. this game, some people, I think even earlier today, I said that it doesn't have like the same focus on narrative that normal Metal Gear games do, but it has more than was probably necessary. Like it has more story in it, and it's not it's not bad. Um, some of the parts where they sort of try to flesh out Ride and get a little weird, but um, all in all, it's it's cool. Um, so Raiden doesn't have any way to interrupt and then resume his combos, which is very peculiar. I think if all of the combos had been much shorter, like at most, like three hits, I think that it would have been better, because some of the combos do actually do this. There is one combo that's really short. I think it's just like Y and then pause and then you press X. Mm -hmm. It sweeps the enemy's uh, feet out from under them and what it does is it puts them in an interesting position for you to then use blade mode on them. And I think all of the combos should have done that. All of the combos should have been really short, and they should have, like, flipped your enemy, like, butt overhead. Or they should have flipped the enemy to the side. Or they should have knocked the enemy on their knees, prone in such a way that you could do, like, the very elegant, like, chop their head off very dramatically. Oh, hold on, things are about to get real. I'm gonna Whoa. turn the volume up. I'm gonna turn the volume up for a second. So the lyrics, they weren't singing before. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh, now this feels like a platinum game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Definitely not Metal Gear. Normal so. Metal Gear, anyway. So, well it's interesting because that was a little crazy, right? Yeah. But not for Raiden. Because in Metal Gear Solid 4, he actually did... I don't know if he ever... No, actually, he he sort of... I think he catches... Bale, if you can do me a favor and, in fact, check this for me. Actually, just look up the cutscene if you don't mind. Um, I think he catches Ar Arsenal Gear. And that might not... I don't know if that's going to mean anything at all to you, 
but it's basically um, like a battleship that has like Mount Rushmore, but with various additions of Big Boss and Solid Snake. Basically, um, I think is how that works. But it's it's a big gaudy battleship. Okay. And I think it was called Arsenal Gear. I maybe no, no maybe Arsenal Gear was at the end of Metal Gear Solid 2. 